My name's Taylor Binns. I'm 23 years old and I suffer from limbal stem cell deficiency. I grew up in Aurelia, Ontario with my mother and father there and as well with my six siblings. Jordan, Tori, Addy, Aiden, Yana, Christy. I think I got them. When I came to Queens, I was quite happy. My, uh, my first year went very well. And then the summer came and then I decided I'd go to Haiti to help there. The clinic there that takes care of just thousands and thousands of people that need help. So the big thing there was they needed a new roof. We went to the beach for a day and then I come back that night and just had the most severe pain and redness in my eyes that I've ever had in my life. So in maybe a year's time, I went from almost 2020 with my glasses to now being legally blind. The pain, the pain is the worst. I can deal with losing the vision, but you can't get rid of the pain on the scale of you're being constantly stabbed in the eye and it just never stops. Taken away from me mostly was the freedom, the things that almost before were me. Playing all these sports, being on a team, being able to drive wherever I wanted, all these things were now taken away. With my schooling, I can't see a lecture screen. So I rely on other people, the notes. I look off my computer and just hope for the best that I've hit the right key and I can blow the fonts up to about a 30 and then see it. And I just try to act normal as much as I can and just accept that this has happened and I have to deal with it. Well, right away I knew like if I was a match that I'd definitely do it. Just to know like if it's going to help them then, you know, I kind of do like whatever it would be to help them out. He's been through a lot so it's kind of the least I could do. She's giving me everything back. I've lost over the last couple of years. So, um, yeah. He's really happy and he's like, I'll, we'll, we'll go shopping, I'll buy you that coat that you wanted or whatever. I'm just like, you don't really need to do that. Like. So within the next year or two, I should, um, should have most of my vision back. It'd be pretty sweet. It'd be nice. I want to hope for the better. I hope I can get back to doing the things I actually like. Love to be able to play rugby again, to be able to drive. Just things that people take for granted, I'm really looking forward to. I can drive now, which is amazing. I'm basically 20-20 with uh, my glasses on. That's better than I had before surgery. I'm almost in disbelief. Since surgery, I've had no pain whatsoever. I haven't been able to say that for four years. I just have the freedom to do anything, all these things which I couldn't do before. I'm playing rugby right now for the Aurelia team. Ready, 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 set. It's kind of validation that everything's normal for me as of now. And this is pretty much the thing that really defines that for me, being able to be at the pitch on Saturdays. I love being out here playing rugby. My dreams as of right now, I'm currently studying for the MCATs, uh, considering going into medical school to be an eye surgeon. 
I just want, obviously want to thank my sister for number one. Without her, who knows where I'd be. Her and everyone at UHN, Dr. Cole, everyone with Dr. Slomovic's team. Dr. Slomovic's the man. I can't thank any of them enough for what they're doing. And I can just hope that through things like this and through donors that more people can have this done for them and, and get their life back.